what's going on everyone welcome back to another video today i'm gonna share with you all some places in life has a simple trait that i use pretty much every single day now some of these you might already know in some you may not but either way we're gonna go ahead and get started with tip number one It is handy if you run out of USB ports on your PlayStation. I like to use a USB data hub with mine, which gives me a lot of additional USB 2.0 ports. That way, I can charge my phone, I can plug in a microphone, I can charge an external controller pretty much whatever I want. And it will even continue charging my devices while the PlayStation is in rest mode. Number two, well, this next one is great. If you have a PS4 Pro and you use an external USB hard drive instead of plugging in your hard drive in one of the front for the USB. You can use the hidden USB 3.0 port on the back of the PS4 Pro. Doing this should significantly increase the performance of your USB 3.0 standard hard drive. Number 3 is one that I think that everyone should do and that is the setting of the brightness on your DualShock controller light bar to the dimmest setting. To make the dimmest setting of the brightness bar on your controller, go to settings, device, then select controllers. Then go to the brightness of DualShock light bar and select dim. Now doing this is going to extend the battery life of your Bluetooth controller. I just always leave mine in dim and it works really really well. Now, now next one lets you switch quickly between your game and a previous screen or application. All you have to do is simply double tap the PS button on your DualShock controller and your PlayStation will take you back to your last application or screen. I will give you an example while you play in the game. Press the PS button and go to the message session. Then you can chat with your friend. Then if you want to switch back to the game you play in, simply double tap the PS button on your controller. PlayStation will take you back instantly to the game you play in. This is really handy if you want to quickly switch from your game back to the message and vice versa. <coughs> Number 5. This next one actually has to do with reducing lag and multiplayer games. If you have a slow internet connection, I actually recommend switching off automatic updates while you play in multiplayer games to prevent any big downloads from using up your bandwidth which can actually cause you to lag while you're playing. To switch off automatic downloads, go to settings, then go down to the system, select automatic downloads, then remove max on the system software update files and application update files. Uh, Nemesis helps with slow app downloads. If you think that your game or your update is downloading too slow, you can go into your PS4 network setting and change the DNS settings to Google DNS. So go to network and go down to set up internet connection. I use LAN cable to connect internet for my PS4. So I select second one, use a LAN cable, then select custom, then enter automated, and then select do not specify, then go down to manual. You can change Google DNS here, just like that. Then click next and next and test internet connection. This actually helps out a lot for a lot of people with slow internet. Uh, number 7 is not one that I use every single day, but it's useful every once in a while. If you feel that your PlayStation is running slow, all you have to do is simply put your PlayStation into safe mode and then rebuild the database. It's quick and easy and you have your PlayStation running like brand new in pretty good condition. It was really well, so given a shot if you want to boost the performance on your PlayStation. So there you guys, you have it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you enjoyed this PlayStation Life has, make sure to leave a like, rating, comment below to let me know what you think and it's always subscribe and ring the bell for post notification. I see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching this video.